Next tonight here in ABC News exclusive, Robin Williams' widow speaking out for the first time since he took his life more than a year ago now. Tonight, what the autopsy revealed and something his widow wants everyone to know. ABC's Amy Robach with the interview. Nearly four decades of unparalleled brilliance by Robin Williams. My first day as a woman, I'm getting hot flashes. His seven final years spent with his third wife, Susan. It's what I always dreamed of. A love would be someone who really sees you for who you are inside. But on August 11th last year, Susan left for work and soon got a call from William's assistant that she couldn't wake him up. That 20 minute car ride, I just screamed the whole way. Robin. Did you get to see him? Yes. And I got to tell him, I forgive you. We were living a nightmare. The 63 year old actor had been diagnosed with early stages of Parkinson's disease. Most people think your husband killed himself because he was depressed. No, Louis body dementia killed Robin. Louis body dementia. His autopsy revealed he was suffering from that debilitating brain disease, which can cause depression, anxiety, and paranoia. It's what took his life. Was he losing his mind? Yes, absolutely. And he was aware of it. And in that last week, doctors were planning to check him into a facility to help treat him. The night before he died, Susan had renewed hope. I think he's getting better. And then he said, good night, good night. That was the last. The whole thing so difficult and Amy Robach is with us now and you were telling us the numbers on this are simply staggering that more than a million people suffer from this condition and we don't often know until after they die. That's right and living with this disease is so devastating hallucinations anxiety paranoia. Susan told us that in the final months there were moments when Robin was so paranoid and so fearful he wouldn't even leave his room. All right, Amy Robach with us here tonight Amy thank you.